Really not here for this weather. I don't know if you can see, but it's literally snowing. This is very ghetto. I am freezing. This is not fun. It is April 7th. My birthday month. My birthday is in like five days or something like that. Next week. <sighs> and it's literally snowing outside and I'm frozen. I'm off to an F45 class. My first F45 class pregnant. Um, the last time I went to an F45 class was probably like end of November. And then I found out I was pregnant like a few weeks later. So it's been a really long time. I'm praying I don't die. I'm six months and two weeks which is pretty crazy. I wanted to show you guys like a bump date and stuff, uh, but maybe I'll just like include a clip here. Major update. My stomach is pretty sore today, which is a common theme for me. Like, it's pretty sore when I sleep and um, usually in the morning when I work out and stuff as well. Not even sore, just like more of a heavy, and it's more of like my, like the pelvic pain I'm getting a little bit. I don't know. All these new feelings are like really weird for me. Um, but, and I'm feeling really, really uncomfortable in my clothes, which is really, really frustrating. Cause yeah, it's like what I wear every day. <laughs> I don't like wearing, and I literally wear two of the same outfits every day, which is like my gray sweatsuit, hoodie and sweatpants and like Yeezys. And then I wear like my Lululemon long sleeve and long sleeve uh, zip up and my lines or my um, wonder train whatever little lemon leggings essentially like those are the only things that are really really stretchy and like I don't know just feel like smooth on my skin so I haven't really worn anything else and it's just getting annoying now thinking because like I have to actually leave the house like usually I hang out with my girls like simple things might go on a hike you know I mean, it's winter time. It's been winter, so we might go to dinner or someone's house and chill and kick it. So I can literally wear Lulu's, but now it's like my birthday's next week. You wanna go to dinner, like what the fuck am I gonna wear? I hate wearing dresses. That whole conversation becomes a thing, but um, yeah, I was like, there's nothing to wear. Even me and my my work team are going out to dinner, like a fan, very, very fancy dinner. And it's like, what am I gonna wear? A dress, I guess. I don't really have a choice, but none of my jeans button up anymore. And it's like, I can't wear jeans and a baggy shirt even to like, you know, an eight course meal dinner. Like it's just, anyways. So just trying to sort out my life and my comfort levels and my stomach is getting big really, really quick. Like I didn't have a stomach probably until like 17 weeks, which is so funny because I would always like look at photos or like take videos at like 12, 15 weeks being like, oh, I have a bump. <laughs> or like a baby bump and like I look back at those photos and I actually had no stomach, which is quite crazy. But my stomach is just like normally really, really flat. So it was like a little bit pouchier and I was like, I have a bump. But literally now I, I actually have a stomach. Like it's a different level. Like before you couldn't tell I was pregnant, right? Now, you know I'm pregnant. Funny that I used to think that I was on the thicker end. I've gained 16 pounds and I'm halfway. So my doctor wanted me to gain 25 to 30 pounds, but it looks like we're gonna be on the 30 end. Like there's no way around it. I don't even eat differently. Nothing has really changed. In the last week, my hunger has increased a lot, but even still, I just need to eat more, but I'm still eating the same amount because I'm eating like more often. I'm just eating more often, not necessarily more food. It's like smaller portions, but more often. It's just, this whole thing is a moving game. I would not um, suggest pregnancy for the week. <laughs> it's definitely not the funnest thing ever, but I do feel my baby kick. I guess I can say my baby girl kick because she's a girl, which is funny. Um, oh, and in this video, you'll see that she's a girl because I'll play the gender reveal stuff before I actually include this clip just because obviously I'm talking about my girl. You got
sister little sister vibes and that'll just be cute so I know my sister and my mom are like really happy to have a girl they're girls girls so it makes sense <laughs> like my sister will probably have all girls um, but yeah I'm, I'm cool with the girl vibes now obviously like guys have their cons and girls have their cons but when I think about like having a girl I think about you know periods harassment like you know all these things that boys don't necessarily I mean they do face but not as frequently as girls well the period part they obviously don't face but like harassment and like sexual assault and all those things are not are more likely statistically like girls you just see it more often and I don't have time for that bullshit honestly so that's the only my like my biggest hold up with having a female but i'm a girl and i've never experienced any uh, well i've obviously had a period because i have a child now <laughs> but um or i'm pregnant now but um like harassment and all i mean to some capacity but all those kind of things like i've never really experienced to the fullest so i'm just hopeful that that will be my daughter's experience um, and I won't be stressed out about those things, right? I don't really know, but the funny thing is like, I'm always like to Theo, oh, we have to pay for a wedding now. 
and he was like, fuck. That was the first thing I said to him, and he was like, fuck. I have to pay for a wedding. Time to save all the money in the world. No, but we're just playing. Theo is a girl dad, like 110%. He was made to be a girl dad. So, you know, we both, you know, you get what you get. So, we're excited. It'll be fun. Um, I'm hoping she comes a little bit early because I would like to stay with, at my parents' house for a month before our house is ready um just so obviously i can like get the support i need and my mom's retired so it'll be nice having her there my sister and my brother like everybody my dad but mainly obviously my mom because she will have the most capacity the next vlog you see will be in june june 1st and it'll be our baby moon that's what it's gonna be which is really, really exciting we're going to the bahamas i cannot wait we were in between the bahamas Turks and Caicos and uh, what was the third one? Antigua, but Bahamas is literally like two and a half, three hours away. But yeah, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Um, these houses are so nice right now. Wow, it's like a new build in front of me. Um, but anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a month. Peace.